Okay, this is part three. I've made two other parts before this. Go and watch those before you watch this video. It's important to get the full revelation. Remember how important it is to listen clearly and understand all the steps to get the revelation. And I proved this in some other videos where, yeah, anyway. So go and watch the other two videos. Part three, incredible. So I was saying like how I'm feeding the sheep now because he's come to me, so feedeth my sheep. And that goes back into um, John 21. So after they had dined, yeah, so, oh no, sorry. Yeah, Jesus and Peter. So after they dined, yeah, okay. And he's saying, now, this is where it gets just another step, even better. And you'll be like, this perfection. It's already perfection, but this is like, the what's better than perfection? Nothing, Jesus, okay? <laughs> There's no standard that can be held against him. He's just the superlative. Okay, right, so Simon, of Jonas, and of, this is something else as well, anyway, I need to stick on track, I'm sorry that I'm a bit all over the place, I'm sticking on track as best I can, okay, lovest thou me, okay, in 16, Simon, of Jonas, lovest thou me, feed my sheep, he said after, again, Simon, of Jonas, lovest thou me, feed my sheep, Okay, so remember how I told you previously about feed the 5,000, okay? So they're feeding, the, if you love Jesus, he comes to you and he, you feed the sheep, which I've mentioned before. So now, um, <clears throat> I just wanna show you this, Luke 19, where is it? Luke 19, 10, so. Luke 19, so we're going to be talking about feeding sheep, yeah, 19, 10. So, for the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which is lost. Okay, Matthew 15, 24. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Hmm, yeah, okay. Matthew 10. Five, Jesus sends out 12 apostles, okay? The 12 elders of the tribes, okay? Oh, thank you. These 12, Jesus sent forth. Remember, Jesus sent us into the world, yeah, as well, okay? I sent these in, they are not of the world, as am I not of the world. I have sent them into the world, okay? Anyway, but that's not this scripture. Go, he's saying to the apostles, go not into the way of the Gentiles, which is the heathens, those without God. Gentile means heathen. And I've explained this in some other videos as well. Tribe, non-Jewish, Gentile, heathen, nation. These are the nations, not the kingdoms, the nations. Nations are vessels without the Lord God. They're the nations, okay? We have to feed them, okay? Mm, it's a bit more complicated than that. That's just the gist of it before anyone starts going, or whatever people want to do. Anyway, so go not the way of the Gentiles, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel and go. And as you go, preach the kingdom of God is at hand. And I've explained this before. The kingdom of God is at hand because it's there. It's here now. It's within you. you just got to see it and grasp it and reach forth for Jesus' hand and Pray that it gives you repentance unto knowledge, acknowledgement of the truth. It's been here. It's been able to be grasped the entire time since the Lord came in the flesh that was Jesus that first time. That was his first standing up. And he's standing up again through all of us. We follow him. Okay? So that's that. So he sends out the lost sheep. And this all links perfectly. So remember, going back to um, John 21. So feed my lost sheep. OK, um, feed my sheep. Do you love me? Do you love me? Where have we heard that before? Do you love me? I'm going to show you. And then it just makes absolute perfect sense. Yeah. Jesus promises the Holy Ghost. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my father. And I will love him. And I will manifest myself to him. Okay. 
But it gets even better. In John 21, 20. Who, it, who is it that loves Jesus and Jesus loves? It's the beloved apostle. And it's not just one. It's all of us who the Holy Ghost has come into. I know who I am. I know who I am. So then Peter turning about, turning about. What does turning about mean? Turn to revert, return, return. Because they'd fell and now he returned. Seeth the disciple who Jesus loved. I am one of the disciples that Jesus loved. His holy, he lives in me and I am trying to feed the sheep. And I know there's sheep that can hear me. Okay, I know there's sheep that can hear me. But I, I also know, I know, I know, I know that others that didn't hear me a while ago will eventually hear what I say. And you will be one of the ones that has been turned. And then you will see the apostle or the disciple whom Jesus loved following. I am following Jesus. I am delivering his word. I am glorifying the Lord. I am feeding his sheep. And I say it again, oh, this is, I've just, I've just got to deliver what the Lord has given me. Only his children will hear the word that I'm saying and those that he's given repentance unto the acknowledgement of the truth. But I can't keep any of this any longer. I have to share it. And I have so, so much to give. So, so much. So, yeah. And also, so we're not finished here yet. OK, I will love him and I will manifest myself to him. So if you love Jesus, if you're one of the ones that loves Jesus, he will manifest himself to you. If you kept his commandments, guarded them. OK, this is spiritual. Whatever's going on inside this vessel, inside this clay pot. OK, yeah. OK, that. I don't even know what was going on in there at that specific thing because it's a spiritual battle. But he's telling, he's disclosing it to me through words and I can share it with you. So we've not finished yet. This is incredible, like properly incredible. So if you love Jesus and he, he if you love Jesus, he loves you, okay? But this was already predestined and he will manifest and show himself to you and you will feed his sheep, which is what I'm doing now. So going back, to, well, not going back, we're back, we're in John 21, I'm reading from my notes. So I'd obviously deviated a tiny bit, but I got the message out, which I needed to. So turning about is re, Turn, convert. OK, I think converts in there somewhere. Yeah, convert. I just hadn't highlighted it. OK, um, and on the breast. So following, which also leaned on his breast at supper. Remember, this is supper still. This is the food. This is when I'm when I'm gathering the information because the Holy Ghost teaches us all things. The Holy Ghost is the Lord. The Holy Ghost is Jesus. We're all one. All glory to the Lord God. Anyway, at supper. So again. The chief meal, dinner, feast, supper. OK, right. But the breast, this is this is important. So on leaning on his breast. So his breast is his bosom, his bosom and his chest. So what does someone that's leaning on his bosom and his chest do? They stand prominently standing. I am standing in the storm. I am holding back the flood and delivering his word to you guys. There's so much more. There's so much more. OK, so that is also linked with. So um, his breast, the bosom, those that are standing, OK, as standing prominently. Mm, excuse me, as standing prominently. OK, and then if we go to John 1 now, 18. No man hath seen God discerned clearly at any time. The only begotten son, which is in the bosom of the father, hath declared him. And remember that Jesus is in the father and we are in Jesus. This is us as well. I can see the Lord. I can see Jesus. He's come to me. I, I, oh, I, I pray you can see what I'm showing you. I pray, Father, please, please allow them to see this. Please, please, please. <sighs> OK, so the son which is in the bosom bosom okay same as John so those the John 1 let's just go back and work this back again 
no man, no man hath seen God at any time, only the begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he hath declared him, which means preached, shown, manifested him. Exactly what's happening with me. I feel so emotional. Um, anyway, so let's just go. Bosom. In the bosom. The Son is in the bosom of the Father, and we are in the bosom of Jesus. So let's go back to 21. In, there you go. And the disciple whom Jesus loved following also leaned on his breast. Bosom. Okay. And that links perfectly with John 14, like I mentioned before, that at that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, he is in the Father's bosom, and ye are in me, we are in Jesus' bosom, and I am in you. All glory to the Lord God. I love you all so much in Christ. This is, um, that's just absolute perfection. John 6, 46. This says it a bit more clearly and plainly for others. Not that any man hath seen the Father, save he which is of God. Because we're of God. We are the children of God. What does that make us? We're of God. I pray people can hear the word that I am delivering. I am doing my job, it, it's not up to me. It's not up to me, I'm just delivering it. I'm doing my work, I am feeding his sheep. And yeah, the, um, there's something else, John three. Lucky I've got my, my sheep with me, John three. Jesus answered, and he said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the Lord. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. This water, you've been told that water is the birthing canal of a woman although that's a very that's a worldly manifested part but it's not the spiritual meaning for this at all and i will deliver this along with several other huge revelations as if this wasn't amazing enough you've got so much food this is a feast this is like a buffet that's just going to come and it's going to be incredible but i know that there are those of you that can hear my words and i pr i'm sad that some people won't be hearing these words, but that's, I've, I've struggled with this, but that's just, it's not up to me. It's not up to me. So, yeah, if you can hear what I'm saying, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. All glory to the Lord God. I love you all in Christ. I hope that made sense. I'm going to come back with more videos. Um, very soon but I'm going to let this sink in for a little while so that's three videos I'm going to post them one day after another for the next three days I guess well I don't know if that will happen when I when this comes out I, I, I'll see but I'm planning to anyway but um, yeah I love you all in Christ this is I feel so humble and honoured that <laughs> he's in me I can't I can believe it. I can believe it. I shouldn't say I can't believe it because I can believe it. But anyway, I love you all in Christ. S stay strong against persecution. Um, they know, they literally know not what they do. And yeah, I love you all in Christ. And if you haven't understood this, please, please just keep going back and watching it. These last three videos are incredible and they will really help with spiritual development and you being fed. Okay, so I love you all in Christ. God bless.